So is it possible to take extreme close-up photographs without a macro or a micro lens? You bet it is. As a matter of fact, I've been doing it for years and years. And I just want to bring up a, I had a comment made on a, uh, one of my YouTube videos that someone had asked a question about using a macro or if he should get a micro lens. And then somebody responded with a comment named Garish Sagar, hope I pronounced that right, and I thank you for that comment. And uh, he wrote in, bro, you don't need to buy a micro lens. You can place a two times magnifying glass in front of your lens and take picture. It works fine. It's absolutely right, absolutely true. I've been doing it for years, and even in the old film days, before, even before I had a uh, macro lens, I would just, you know when you do at the wedding, if you're wedding photographers out there, when you do the ring shots, the rings only, and you want to get real close to it, and you're sort of limited to the lens that you may have. Of course, now you have a, a lot of lenses are macro, but you can get even closer, and at the time I didn't have any kind of a macro or micro lens, so I used to get as close as I could. Here's what I did, actually. I'll just take my camera. As a matter of fact, this is the, well, I still use this camera, and but this is the exact magnifying glass that I'm using. And what you do is you make your focus, let's just say, put this down here, let's just say you're zooming, you can zoom into about where you want to, and say you want to come in pretty close, but you can't focus that close, all you do is take your magnifying glass, and I do want to mention that you want to try to find a magnifying glass that fits your lens. So it fits right in there, and it's a pretty good fit. And, of course, you can get these anywhere, any discount store, any office supply store. It's just a magnifying glass. Try to find one without the internal or that has a bottom magnifier on there. This one has, but it really has no effect on the center part of the picture. So after I focus as close as I could, I'll put the magnifying glass up here. And then I'll focus by me moving in and out. And look at that, I'm so close. You take the picture, wham. Wow, how easy is that? I guess you could say that used to be a secret, but I know some of you are saying, you know, there are no secrets in photography. That may be true if you know about it, but if you don't know about it, is it a secret? <laughs> Or you've heard the expression, you don't know what you don't know. How could you know that if you do not know that? Well, now you know that. And then now you know what to do in case you have to get extremely close and you don't have a magnifier or a macro or micro lens or even one of those close-up attachments, which you don't really need. You just go out and get yourself a couple dollar or 99 cent magnifying glass you should probably find one that that's a that has good glass to it so so you might want to go to either an office store and get a reasonably good magnifying glass and I've used these things and and I've made you know album size prints of the rings large 10 by even larger 10 by 10 sometimes 12 by 12 size image of the of just the rings and they were crystal clear. So if you get a sharp magnifying glass, you're going to get sharp images. And yes, you can take micro or macro photographs without a macro or micro lens. Thank you for watching.